Hi guys, just a quick update video about the IBM 4978 that I reviewed a while ago. As you may have seen in my recent how to type on a mobile phone video, I got it working and including with a solenoid and I thought I'd just take a short amount of time to show you what happened, how I managed to get it working. Um, there you go. This video is unscripted so it's going to be a little bit more loosed than normal, let's say. Anyway, so this is a custom-made controller. It was made by a viewer. It consists of two buses, uh, one of which has been cut down uh, because the, the connector, as you can see, is substantially longer than that of a standard beam spring model, and uh, the controller had to accommodate for it. Now, the person who sent this in was a viewer, uh, a very, very helpful chap, and he somehow managed to crack this whole thing without even having it in his hand. He has a beam spring, but not a 4978. And <laughs> without much help from my side at all, actually, he was able to completely crack the code to this. It, it was even pre-programmed perfectly. All the keys did exactly what they were supposed to do. And it's, <laughs> I'm really amazed at that. It's really fantastic. So great job, mate, and thanks again. Um, I made a ground to it here. There you go, it's really just a, a screw and a, a metal thread that I uh, well, basically just screwed into it. Normally this bolt is here to keep this floppy thing in place, but this is a perfect place for a, a ground, I think, especially because I can just remove it like that. It's not soldered on or anything, but it makes a good enough ground. Um, yeah, so it also comes with a uh, port for a solenoid. Now the 4978 didn't come with a solenoid by default, but of course if you have a beam spring, you know, you've got to have a solenoid. It's kind of part and parcel of having a beam spring. Many models did have a solenoid and it's, I think, one of the most recognizable features. So I'm going to just move it slightly. There is the solenoid. Um, because it didn't come with a solenoid by default, it also didn't have a mounting point, uh, but fortunately there was a screw hole See if you can see that there was a screw hole here that fit uh, one of the mounting screws perfectly. So <laughs> I don't know why this thing looks like it was made for it. Um, I'm just going to position it a little bit so you can see it. So if I press a key, it retracts a little bit, and you'll notice it's not actually hammering against the case itself. Just the action is more than enough to make all that noise. Um, in any case, uh, I got a replacement solenoid from, I think it was Joe, I got it from, it's supposedly an extra loud model, I really wouldn't know, um, but it, it works excellently. I don't think I needed a solenoid drive, I can't remember now. I think the board that uh, Andre, he, that's the, the guy who sent it in, send in was already compatible with it, just off the top of my head, I can't recall now. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. So yeah, now it it works flaw <laughs> works flawlessly, and as you can hear, it's, it makes quite a lot of noise. But man, <laughs> is she a beauty or what? I'm so happy with it. It works fantastically now. So yeah, the, that was it for this uh, this short video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you in the next review. Bye, guys.